So here's how to show the inventory quantity on the product page on Shopify. It's very easy to do. And if you'd like to follow along, I put my link down below in the description. So you can always click that and log in much easier access. So as you're going to know here, we're sold out. But first, what you need to do, there's one step before you carry on. Let's go back to our dashboard. And assuming you already have your product set up, you want to go to your inventory right here. So let's just say that we have 50 available. OK, I'm just going to click on save. Now, if we go back over to that page, it's not going to show 50. Obviously, that's what we're looking to do. But one thing will change. Let's go over there. And after reloading, you'll notice it's not sold out. So now we can show you how you can actually go about showing that we have 50 items. Let's go back over here. What we want to do is go to our online store section. And it's going to bring up the themes. So if you're using Dawn already, that's great. It's going to be their basic one. What we want to go do is customize it. So let's click on customize. If you're not using Dawn, you can always use it if you like. And from here, let's simply click on home page and then go to the products. And right here, assign to one product. It's just the one example. So let's go here. And as you can see, it's not there. But what we want to do is go to the left side. Let's click on add block. And then from there, we have inventory status. You're going to notice it just added it right here. Now, you'll probably want to add it a little bit higher because especially when it gets lower, this is going to be a great way to add some more scarcity or urgency because if this is something that's really hot and say it gets down to like 8, 7, 6, 5, it gets lower and lower, the chances are much higher that people are going to purchase because there's less opportunity for them to get them. So what we can do is drag and hold like right here and we can move it up a little bit more. So maybe under the price could be a good spot, maybe a little bit higher. It's really going to be a few because I clicked off of it. Let's go back over here. So it's going to be inventory status. If you want to put it above the price, I think that looks pretty good, right? And of course, if you want to click there, what you can do is go for the low inventory threshold. So once this you know, gets to a specific number, that's where it's going to start to say like it's almost out of stock or so on and so forth. So it says low stock. So 71 isn't going to be low, but just to kind of give you an idea, maybe around 10 or so would be a good number where it had it. And of course, it shows the inventory count already there. We'll keep it at nine. But that's going to be the tutorial about how you can show the number of inventory on there. I think it's a great little tool, especially for the fact like I said, once you start getting low in nine, it could be, say you have like, you know, a thousand of something. So low inventory from there could literally be like, you know, like 50, 40. Play around with it though. It's really up to you. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you out. If it did, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a lot as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.